Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about VeChain, DNVGL, and Shanghai Renji Hospital. So they jointly announced the building of an intelligent tumor center on VeChain. Obviously, this is going to be able to monitor, uh, track, you know, and maybe cure tumors and cancer um, on this blockchain. So this is a research slash medical use type of blockchain. We know that uh, DNVGL has worked with VeChain on MyCat, and we know that Shanghai Renji Hospital has actually adopted that, so now they're taking another step forward. I know a lot of you are going to be excited and be like, well, this would uh, burn a lot of VTHO right away, right? No, because, one, well, they have to build it first. They haven't actually built it yet. They announced the joint building of this intelligent tumor center, but it has not been built yet. So before we start burning all those vetoes, they have to actually build it first. Building such a facility such as this one can take months or years. So this, once again, is something that is actually out in the long-term vision, not something that will actually affect anything tomorrow. Um, but you know, like there's a lot of the, there's actually a lot of these projects that's coming uh, that are coming up in the years to come, and like there are projects all the way dating back from maybe like 2019, 2018 that we're actually seeing come to fruition, and you can see that with the slightly increasing VTHO burns despite the pandemic setback this year. MyCare has actually been picking up a lot of clients, and we're going to be seeing a lot of those coming online. And projects like this are basically, I think, offshoots of MyCare. Once hospitals have MyCare and they see how well it works, they might want to do other things with VeChain, especially with DNVGL pushing them, like Shanghai Renji Hospital is actually doing. So we want to see, we want to actually see as many of these projects as possible. Of course, we would like for them to be deployed as fast as possible, but things like this do take a lot of time, especially when you're building something with medical facilities. Like other things like gaming and NFTs will probably spur VTHO burn a lot faster, but they're not really enterprise-grade enterprise solutions, and stuff like this will definitely drive VeChain into the future. I think if this is successful, other hospitals will actually look at this and maybe build something uh, similar. If we have a bunch of these medical care facilities slash hospitals, actually adopt VeChain for these like care centers, we can definitely see a lot of burn in the future. So on the scientific part and the humanity part, it's cool that VeChain is helping out with like, you know, uh, cancer research, tumor research, but on the investor part, in the, in the future, in the months or years coming, it will burn a lot of VTHO and that should drive the price of VeChain. Now remember, there's still that 37 million number. Right now, we're still generating much more than we are actually consuming at this point. And because of that, um, you can't really depend on utility to drive up VeChain. Well, I mean, realistically, you can't depend on utility to drive up any coin, but we're still fairly far away from that. But we are much uh, better than where we were last year and the year before that. So we have year-on-year -year improvement. Uh, the burn uh, the burn recently has been pretty consistent. It's not where I would like it to be at this time, but you know, like COVID did actually throw everything off. But projects like this, once again, are very, very good. And uh, these are pretty big projects that have really big importance not only on the blockchain and you know your investment, but people's health. But VeChain with stuff like this is a good investment in the years to come, although it might take a while for all this stuff to come to fruition. You shouldn't expect to get rich within like two weeks off of these long-term investments. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.